as a newborn all the way until about last week Leah has hated baths and it made it less enjoyable for us because she's not happy so in the last five months we've tried at least four different baby tubs even different locations in the house to try and figure out what works best for us so in this video I will share what worked and our current bath time routine This is the bathtub that we're using. It's called the Skip Hop Moby something like that, but I'm gonna link it down below. We never had a chance to, but if you wanna use it for a newborn, you just take out the two clips and you reposition them like I'm showing you here. So we're using it on the second stage right now. And once she can sit on her own without this support, we can just take the mesh off completely. Yeah, so there's a little clips at the top so you can remove that mesh insert. So my husband always rinses out the bathtub just to make sure it's clean and then he fills it with water. Don't forget to check the water temperature with your elbow just so you know that you're good to go. So yeah, from here, Leah and I just make our way to her play mat. The reason for this is because what we found is using bath time as if the bath was a toy during playtime made Leah feel more comfortable. And the last time we had a bath, we actually included toys that are familiar to her that are waterproof. And then we actually added the water in slowly so it didn't feel like she'd just been dunked straight in the water. And I think that really helped. So today we actually added some bubble bath. We use products by Child's Farm and we find that they're really good for sensitive skin and we haven't had any issues with it so far. They're free from all the nasties that you can find in some products. So we're happy with it for now. While Leah is happily playing, and distracted I added coconut oil to her hair and just let that sit while we washed her body and played with her she did actually start getting cradle cap uh, one or two weeks ago but it's starting to go and I feel like the coconut oil is helping and I use it in my own hair so why not here we just continue to play with her try to get her used to the water she's <laughs> happily chewing on her rattle so she looks quite relaxed to me I'll insert an image here of how she used to look when she was in the bath so yeah you can tell there's a quite a big difference once we finish playing with her i feel like she's a bit distracted so i start shampooing her hair honestly she used to cry instantly if water or soap touched her head or her face so i'm really surprised that this is working i'm using a silicone snuggle brush i'll link it down below just to make sure all the coconut oil is going to get washed out of her hair properly and then i make sure to rinse it all out which might have been easier to do if i put her in the newborn position i think so I might try that next time. And then once we're all done, we're gonna go back into her room and get her all dried up. Because she's got curly hair, once her hair is properly dry, I use a conditioner. It's for curly hair specifically. And I just do a tiny little bit on my hand and just rub it into her hair. And then I comb her hair out in like curved motion, which hopefully you'll see here in a minute. I know that as she gets older, because she does have curly hair, this whole routine is going to change quite a bit once her hair gets a little bit thicker as well. But yeah, then I just change her into a little bodysuit because it is quite warm here today. And throughout the process, we just try to keep smiling and over exaggerate how happy we are that she's not crying and just try to make it a really positive experience for her. It's finished. Yeah. Nice and clean, nice and clean. Nice and clean, nice and clean, yay! You happy or not? I know as a first time mum, everyone's baby on YouTube seems to enjoy everything and that can be quite hard. So I hope you found something on here useful. Click the like button if you did. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.